are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrans for our Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about three entities today. Ryan Rosillo, who is formerly of ESPN, now he has a podcast through the largest po- uh, sports podcasting network in the world, which is Bill Simmons, The Ringer. Max Kellerman, a god-awful, super-woke, hot-take artist on first take. And Captain America, Tom Brady. Okay, now, we've seen in recent days, there's been a lot of hustle and bustle around Brady. Uh, the SJWs got all cranked up, all fired up, got all ass hurt because they somehow tried to connect dots through some kind of mental gymnastics. <sighs> Guys, if you would go get a job, maybe you wouldn't have time to think about this shit. But look, <laughs> oh, son of a gun. Uh, so anyway, look, uh, Tom Brady is going to his 10th Super Bowl. Captain America is the greatest of all time. I think officially now, personally speaking, I think he's the greatest uh, athlete of all time, probably passing Michael Jordan now. John made that video. Uh, I know Clay Travis also made that video. And, uh, you know, you that is debatable. Okay, that is at least debatable. Well, famously, four years ago, Max Kellerman gave a, gave a god-awful take. Now, he's one of these known Tom Brady haters, like Nick Wright, Max Kellerman, uh, so many of these others. Usually, oddly, it's guys that elevate Aaron Rodgers. Like there's some kind of a fucking debate there between Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. Look, the only debate in football there could have ever been now is Joe Montana and Tom Brady. That's the only two. And look, Tom squashed that debate for me. I'm a Niners fan. And Joe was Joe was number one for me until Tom Brady made the, the most unbelievable thing I ever watched in my life, that comeback versus Atlanta, the Falcons. The Falcons have still not recovered. Well, Max Kellerman came out, gave a famous take that Tom Brady was falling off of a cliff. His performance was falling off of a cliff. And let me tell you exactly how much it's fallen off of a cliff since he made this take. Tom Brady has thrown for 17,622 yards. 125 TDs, 39 picks, and about to be the third Super Bowl. And Max Kellerman had to come out and eat some crow. And Ryan Rosillo last night, I was listening to his podcast, just came out. Uh, Look, he said, I like Max. He said, but I disagree with a lot of his shit. And he made sure he held Max Kellerman's feet to the fire over the fact that Max is finally admitting that he was wrong about the cliff theory. Roll it. Um, Kellerman on ESPN, a first take. I like Max. I disagree with him all the time. But, you know, he was going to just just double down on the Brady isn't that good deal. He tried really hard. I, there was a playoff game where Brady lit it up right after he had said what he had said. And, then, you know, of course, everybody's like, hey, and that's TV. That guy's dumping on Brady and Brady keeps winning. What's Kellerman going to say? Like, you don't watch because you agree. You watch because you want to see the guy you don't like have to own what he says or pivot out of it, which is what most of us do. And Kellerman's like, yeah, a lot of those throws are easy. And then on the front page of ESPN.com today, it's like Kellerman admits he was wrong about Brady. What? What tipped you off that you may have been leaning in the wrong direction? The third fucking Super Bowl? All right, so... (laughs) And I love the fact that... That's why I like Ryan Rosillo. He is kind of like the working man's uh, radio guy, podcasting guy. He's always been a hustler. Look, ESPN drastically dropped the ball when they did not lock down Ryan Rosillo and Will Kane. They had a show together, and it was... Uh, Ryan ended up leaving, okay, because they would not give him a contract that he was worthy of. It's just another reason why ESPN's radio ratings, which I did a video on like 10 days ago, have dropped over 50%. 
because they let guys like Will Kane, they let guys like Ryan Rossillo go. People can relate to guys like Ryan Rossillo. They can't relate to, to Max Kellerman, okay? Max Kellerman cannot keep his political feelings out of his sports takes. He cannot do it. He's incapable of it. And we know why guys like Nick Wright and guys like Max Kellerman and guys on ESPN right now, we know why they hate Tom Brady. We did a video on it. Donald Trump, okay? He's friends with Donald Trump. He's a conservative. Now, Tom Brady does not get political. He doesn't make political statements. But it's clear they've always had an agenda to hold him down. And look, it's refreshing. Look, I will give Colin Cowherd credit for this. Ryan Rossillo as well. They like Tom Brady, and they're not afraid to talk about Tom Brady as the greatest of all time. Okay? And uh, they're not going to let any potential political dealings or feelings cloud their opinions of a player. All right? Uh, and I appreciate that. I do. Um, it, it Look, ESPN has fully joined the mainstream media. They're going straight to hell, straight downhill. Uh, Mike Golick, senior, just recently left. He was literally like the last one left of the old ESPN guard besides Greeny. All right? And Greeny is tough to watch by himself when you don't have Golick there to balance him out. That's why that show worked. SVP and Rosillo worked, even though Ryan was really good solo. He's really good solo on his podcast. And look, doing podcasting, doing radio solo is arguably the toughest thing there is to do in, in the media business. It is extremely brutal to try to carry a show for an hour, hour and a half, two hours, four hours by yourself. Okay? Uh, Max Kellerman has got a radio show coming. Would you watch it? Because uh, watch it, listen to it. I, I could care less. I could care less about Max Kellerman. They should have locked down. Uh, Ryan Rosillo grew up in, in New England. Uh, Dad was involved in construction. He worked construction. He bartended. He's a grinder. He's always been a grinder. And the working class... The blue-collar American, even the white-collar American that's not woke, we appreciate listening to guys like that that we know have paid their dues to work themselves up the food chain in their business, and now he's one of the best in the business. I think he was saying at the end of 2020 that his podcast was the third largest sports part podcast in the world now. That's awesome. That's awesome. The problem is, Ryan, we'd like to see you with a TV show again. Okay? Or I would. Or at least some kind of, Bill Simmons, you've got a YouTube channel. Can we figure out how to simulcast Ryan Rosillo's podcast on YouTube? And people will watch it. I guarantee you people will watch it. If you're not listening to Ryan Rosillo now, please, I mean, go subscribe to his channel on The Ringer. And um, I'm, 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 and the other thing I like about Ryan, and I'm just going to say it, he's had a lot of dealings down in the South, per, covering college football, particularly LSU. And do you know what Ryan Rosillo doesn't do? He uh, he does not automatically discount the opinions of Southerners because he believes we're dumb. He doesn't do that. All right, and in woke media time. They love to take shot at Southerners. They love to discount Southerners as not being able to put together a critical thought. And Rosillo has never been that way. In fact, he's a big fan of being in the South when he can be in the South. Plain and simple. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.